I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a very interesting question on sigma notation. We will learn the technique of changing variables with the help of this example. Question is, explain if summation of 1 over m plus 1 where m changes from 0 to 7 is equal to summation of 1 over m where m changes from 1 to 8. So that's the question for you. Now in this question, we observe two things. One, that the lower and the upper bounds have changed for summation. The second, the expression has also changed. How to go about in such cases? Well, we can do change of variable to solve such questions. So what we will do here is that we can say, let a variable let's say p let a variable p equal to m plus 1 since we are seeing something like this has changed right so we'll change m plus 1 to another variable and then try to see now if i change m plus 1 to p in that case this lower and the upper bound of summation should also change now let's check what it should be. Now it says if m equals to 0 then what is the value of p? So let me substitute 0 here 0 plus 1 p should be 1 and if m is equal to 7 what should be the value of p? p should be 7 plus 1 which is 8. right? So whenever you change the variables you have to change the upper and the lower limits of the summation also. So it is important to note that change of variable will result into change in lower and upper limits. Okay. So let us apply this change and rewrite the expression. So if I write this summation which is given to us as m equals to 0 to 7 for 1 over m plus 1 and I'm changing m plus 1 to p then this then the limits of lower and upper bound change so m becomes p p becomes instead of from 0 it becomes from 1 to 8 right so 1 to 8 and I could write this as 1 over p do you get it so that is how I can change the variable. Now here in this case, p is just a variable. We could give it any name, right? So we could also give it name m. That is interesting to see, right? So we could also write m here. So we're just replacing at this stage p by any other variable. We could write k, anything. Let me put it m. Okay. If I write p as m, then if p equals to 1, m equals to 1. If p equals to 8, m equals to 8. Correct? Therefore, I can write this summation as instead of p, I am changing it to m. So, I will replace this p by m. m equals to 1 to 8, 1 over m. Do you see that? So, we have shown that these two expressions are same. I hope this technique helps you to learn how to write a series given in sigma notation or summation in a different form. So that transformation you should remember could be done by change of variable and whenever you do change of variable the limits for lower and upper bound also change so they should be considered as shown in this particular video. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.